and welcome to another video on trigonometry now this time around we'll be looking at two questions here you know i told you that trigonometry deals with inserting method so whenever you are inserting you just need to be inserting that's most of the trigonometry questions when you are dealing with cbt exam now check this question now the question says we should find tan theta if tan theta plus tan 30 over 1 minus tan theta tan 30 is equal to 1 now how can I solve this? And we are given these options. How can I solve and know the correct answer to this? Now, we just make my x. I'll make this tan theta to be equal to x. So, tan theta is here. Tan theta is here. So, I will substitute this tan theta to be x. I will now solve for x on the calculator. So, let's go. Now, you press your fraction button. I have alpha x, which is tan theta, plus you have tan 30, close the bracket. Come to your denominator. I have 1 minus don't forget that theta is x then don't let us put this inside the bracket so the other one as well which is tan 30 put it inside the bracket close the bracket then equals to you have your one then solve for x when you solve for x let's see what now you can see that your x give you 0 0.26794 0 0.26794 or let us say approximately 0 0.26 795 0 0.26795 now we now press the ac we now check the options here the one that is equal to this answer is the correct answer press the option the first option or better still i'm coming yeah let's go for the first option we have minus two minus root three press the cost to express in decimal so you can see that it's not the same thing with this so it's not the correct answer press ac we have minus 12 plus root 3 express in decimal is not the same thing with this so the third one we have 2 then plus root 3 press equals 2 express it's not the same thing with this i believe that the last answer the last option should be the answer which means we have 2 minus root 3 press equals to express that is that is the same thing which is, is 0 0.26795 approximately so that is the correct answer now Let's go to the next question after we set the calculator. Next question says, we should solve for this. We should just solve. Question says we should just solve. Now, this the, the funny thing about this question is that let's let's go. I will tell you later. Open the bracket. We have sign. Now I will have to substitute. I will have to substitute theta for x. Now can you see I substituted my theta for x? The minus cos I have the x here close the bracket don't forget I have to close the general bracket then square now then plus the the other side we have in the bracket sine then theta for x close the bracket for that the plus cos we substitute theta for x close the bracket Close the general bracket for this. Press square. Now, I've inserted all the questions given. That's how we just simplify. We'll just solve. What I'll just do is that I'll just press calculate here. Think of any value. Just insert x for any value. Don't forget our x is theta in the question. Insert anything. You are going to get it. What am I saying? Like, okay, if I should use x to be 30, what's the answer here? 2. That means the correct answer for this is what? It's 2. Some people may not want to use 30 as x. Oh yeah, press calculate. Think of any value. Maybe you want to use 15 now. 15, then press equals to, it will give you 2. So press calculate. Use any number. Even if I use 1000, and press equals to, it's still going to give me 2. So press calculate. If I use 98 as my x, it's still going to give me what? 2. Can you see? So the answer is what? It's 2. So thank you very much for this class. In the next class, we'll be looking at some questions on integration as well. So please like, subscribe, and follow us for more videos, comments, and let us know the kind of calculator method that you know, that you need. God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you.